Hello everybody, Nathan here with the Mind Test Mod Review, and today we are looking at, and I may be a little bit biased, a mod that I created called Auto Store. And now there are other mods like this that exist. Um, I'm pretty sure there are anyways. It's pretty much a, what this is, is an admin store. So we have a, an item here called a store, which does not have a craft recipe. If I go to the crafting guide, it can't be crafted. So... The only way you can get this is if you have the give privilege. And let me just disable myself. Let's see, revoke single player auto store. If you don't have the auto store privilege, you cannot dig the nodes. And you can't right click on an unconfigured auto store. You also cannot place the nodes if you don't have the privilege. So. This is something that you pretty much would use as an admin to put in a store where you don't have to maintain inventory or anything. So let me just give myself the auto store privilege again here. So we can go ahead and set up one of these auto stores. So let's just start at the very end here. And you know, I'm going to need some more material to get a snowball. Okay, now, yeah, I didn't need that. No. Oh, I don't need to do anything. Okay, why is this broken? I have the auto store privilege. What? Oh! Heh <laughs> I need to, um... Wow, yeah, that's really bad. I need to fix my mod. I have the configured store showing up in inventory, not the unconfigured store. There's two styles. There's the unconfigured, which looks like this with yellow and red buttons. And then once you configure the store, the buttons change. So let's go ahead and make our first store. We are going to sell one snowball for one leaf. Now. We can change this. We'll actually, we'll get 20 snowballs for every leaf. And then we will just call our store Snow Paradise. You could call it anything. Uh, usually I would recommend writing what you're selling and what you're selling it for. But when we click Save Store here, you'll notice it switches to a red and green. And it switches to blue here. So that's how you tell between a configured and unconfigured. And we'll have the little info text in the upper left corner saying Snow Paradise. This just says Unconfigured Store. So now when we click on it, we see, oh, we're getting... Why does that say leaves? Those aren't leaves. Those are snowballs. Silly. All right, well, let's pay with one piece of snow. Or one thing of leaves, rather. And we have 20 pieces of snow now. Yay. Let's go ahead and set up a store. We're going to sell an auto store for a snowball. And we are going to do this one. Don't waste your time. And we'll save the store. And we would continue to do this with all of our other things. Generally speaking, we'd probably be doing things like weapons, tools, armor, food, whatever. And whatever you're going to use, whether you're using some kind of in-game currency, or if you're just going to use dirt or cobble or whatever, gold lumps, messy shards, whatever you want to use, and you would just configure them. And then a player comes along. So let me revoke single player auto store. So now I come along as a player and I see these stores. And of course, these ones don't exist because they're not configured, but I can't dig them. And I say, Ooh, I can get Snow Paradise. Wow, I can get 20 snowballs for one leaf. Well, why would I not do that? What can I get here? Dude, I can buy a machine that for some reason says it's snow when it's not snow for a snowball well why wouldn't i do that so let me buy it yay now i have a store oh wait i can't place this because i don't have the privilege so now i wasted my time maybe i should have said don't waste your snow that would have made more sense oh well because here's the kicker once you've configured a store you can't change its name. Your only option is to dig it and place a new one and then use the name you want. Don't 
raised your snow. One snowball, get one machine. Now you can put any quantity you want in there, and it'll just read it as one. Everything is gone off of by these numbers. And now if you do something that can't be stacked, so let's not save that, and let's, actually I got unified inventory, so I'll just grab a sword from there. We'll just use a, an iron sword, yeah, I gave me 10, so I guess it doesn't matter how many I get. We're going to sell an iron sword, and we're actually going to give 8 iron swords for one snowball. And we'll just go ahead and save it, pay a snowball, and we only get one, because it can't stack. And for some reason it keeps saying it's snow, which it's not. But, you'll notice if I try to buy multiples, I'm only getting one. And it's not taking anything because it can't put anything more into that stack. So it's a protection so you don't waste all your material trying to buy something you can't buy. However, if we do the leaves, I can do that because we can stack the snow, which is what we're buying. other thing I feel like there was something else oh yeah when you're configuring these stores you do lose your inventory item you put in there so if I put you know one item in there and I save the store I lost that item the machine takes it I know pipeworks gives them gives the item back after storing the string but I kind of figured if you're gonna be an admin setting this up you're probably gonna have give anyways so what does it matter if you lose an item when you put it in here? I, honestly, I was just lazy, and I'm justifying my laziness right now to you all, is what I'm doing. But this is the Auto Store mod. Link will be in description, as always. Um, I actually created this for, and not to toot my own horn too much here, for the Pixel Shadow Extreme Survival server. They were looking for a way to have stores, but didn't necessarily want to have somebody maintain inventory in the store. Because that's just a hassle, and so much easier if you can just make a store that just pulls items out of nowhere and just destroys items. And like I said, I know there's a few other mods that do similar things, so try them all out, pick your favorite, and run with it. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching my video. Really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, would you consider giving it a thumbs up? I appreciate all those I can get. I'm on social media, peoples. Follow me. Google+. Plus. Twitter, Facebook, I always post all of my videos on those platforms, or links to my videos on those platforms, as soon as they go live. Which this means prior to the release on YouTube, you can watch them before anybody else. You can also visit my website, nathansalpat.com, and see all my videos there. Really nice website, if I do say so myself. I did design it, so I might be a little bit biased, but I still think it's it's decent. If there is a mod you would like me to review, just click on the Request a View button right there. It takes you to form on my website. You just type in the information, hit the Submit button. I get it. I look at it. Record a review. Post it online. You watch. We all profit. The world's a better place. Yeah, I don't know about that last bit, but... Hey, do it anyways. There's, you got nothing to lose. I'll catch you next time.